Hi, this is Palash Chakraborty, assistant teacher, Skar High School and College. Welcome to my class. This class is for class 8, subject Hindu religion, chapter 7, lesson 15 and 16. Here we have a picture. So from the very picture we can guess on what topic we will conduct our lesson today. So today's topic Ma Anandamoni. Okay, so let's go through the text. Ma Anandamoi was born on 13th April 1896 at Kera village in Bamanbaria. Her father was Bipin Bihari Bhattacharya and mother was Mukhoda Sundari. Bipin Bihari's ancestral home was in Vidyagut. The original name of Anandamai was Nirmala Sundari. So Nirmala's schooling started at the village Patshala. It didn't proceed further. A certain divinity used to arise in her since her childhood. She used to listen to Harinam chanting with a rapt attention. So, Nirmala was married away on 25th Mag 1315, that means 1908, at the age of 14, her husband was Ramani Mohan Chakraborty from Atpara in Bikrampur. After their marriage, Nirmala gave her husband the name Bhulanath. Okay, so Bhulanath was an employee in the settlement department in Bajitpur. In 1324, that means 1917, Nirmala went to her husband's workstation Bajitpur. The divinity in her gradually began to be prominent. If she heard the chanting of Krishna now, she would become restless in the love for Krishna. Once chanting was being held at the house of Bhudev Chandra, Hari Harai Namo Krishna Jadubayo Namo Jadubayo Madhubayo Keshubayo Namo Nirmala was present there. She became fainted while listening to the chanting. At that time, a divine aura was coming out of her body. All present there became frightened. After some time, she became normal again. In this manner, a higher divine feeling came in her. Beyond the knowledge of common people, different divine signs began to arise in her body and her body became illuminous with an aura of divine light. Okay, in 1924, Bholanath came to Shavag area in Dhaka as the superintendent of the garden of the then Nawab. Nirmala accompanied him. At Shavag Kali temple, Mother Goddess appeared in her. Since then, she was called Manandamoyi. She continued her worship activities there. Her ashram was founded at Shiddeshwari in 1926. It was her original ashram. In 1932, Ma Anandamoyi went to Deradhan with her husband. As a result, her place was transferred from Dhaka to Northern India. When the news of her divinity spread among the people, Many become her devotees. Okay, so then many famous people of India 
respected her. They used to visit her. She had meetings with such great people as Pandit Jaharlal Nehru, Miss Indira Gandhi, etc. Maanando Mai herself was a great devotee. So she worked hard to make people religious minded. She visited places of all directions of the subcontinent. She revived many lost tapobons and sanctuaries of ancient India. She revived Naimisharanna, which was the center of Indian culture, the meditation site of thousands of sages. So now such activities as Kirtanas, chanting, dance, reading of religious books, satsanga, etc. are regularly held there. Thus, she revived many lost or forgotten ancient holy places. She has imbued millions of people of the country with religious feelings by establishing sacrificial rites, temples, idols, etc. at that places. She has inspired people to direct their mind towards God. Okay, so she established 25 ashrams in the subcontinent including Ramna and Khera in Bangladesh. This is a great contribution of Mahanandamai in the field of practice of Hindu religion and the culture. Ma used to say, in whatever position you are in, continue your duty, chant the name of God only. Chanting is enough. Mahanandamai died on 27th August 1982, she was cremated at Ashram on the Ganga in Haridhar. So now we have the teaching of Mahanandamai. So we have this teaching from the life of Mahanandamai that we have to chant the name of God Allah. We should not neglect our duties. We have to be respectful to our religion and culture. We must abide by this teaching of Mananda Mui. So this is all about the text today. So formally we have finished our syllabus. So now prepare your uh, lessons properly um, and prepare for the exam. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Stay safe, be blessed, thank you.